Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? Good, Good to see you. Well, welcome to Cafe La Mode. Thank you. We're going to have a drive around Paris in my fancy, fancy car. Very exciting. <laughs> Can't wait. Come on in. So good to see you finally in I Paris. Know, How so amazing fun. is that? So Elizabeth, tell me what shows have really stood out for you this fashion week? It's been a really good fashion month, I'm gonna say, because it started in New York, but it's been really great. New York, love the row, Gabriella mm -hmm. Hurst, super impressed with Devo, Tommy Tom's second collection. Yes. Fabulous. London, I love Simone Rocha, Victoria Beckham, and um, JW Anderson and Burberry. Actually, I actually have a lot. And then Milan, Prada was just, I don't Stand know. Out. I just like loved Prada. The whole Adams right. family, like Bride of Frankenstein, the whole thing was super cool. Fendi, beautiful. And Paris so far, Jacques Mou started the week off like with a bag. Mm -hmm. It was gorgeous. Dries was just, I don't know, a dream. And Paco Rabanne, which I just saw today, was fabulous. So Fantastic. Good. Yeah. So tell me about that feeling when you were at Fendi and the news broke about Carl leaving us. And <sighs> how was that? I mean, everyone just broke down in tears. I would say I, I basically was going to break down and cry. Right. I think it's like, especially for me, because until now, so now I don't buy Chanel, but I've been buying Chanel since I was the baby buyer. So since basically 2003. So it was like such a huge part of my life. Like I came to Paris six times a year. We bought in like the Coco, the famous Coco Chanel of stairs. Um, so it was, it was, it was very emotional. Actually, it was super emotional. And I think people at the Chanel show are just going to be I know. crying it's the entire be. time. I was like, oh my god, I just, I can't even imagine. So Elizabeth, in the midst of all this beauty that you see around you, what are you eyeing for your wardrobe? Oh, I have to say, Gabriella Hurst, she had mm -hmm. this sort of, it looked like an ombre or almost dip dye cashmere oversized sweater with a matching scarf. I mean, that was to die for. Um, Margiela did these like, did you see, it's like a, a, almost like a duvet coat yes. covered in organza, which was Beautiful. just like amazing. And then, Definitely a new Bottega Veneta bag. They, they were phenomenal. He's pretty fantastic yeah, what he's yeah, done. Yeah, no. The brand and completely changed it around yeah. and softened it in a, in, in a certain way. Yeah, no, it was super you exciting. Know. It was great to see like new energy at the house, but yeah, and I think that that business is really going to be on fire. Fantastic. So what were three of your favorite trends from the show so far? Something we've been seeing a lot mm -hmm. and we're calling kind of gender fluid, gender list. Mm -hmm. And as you're seeing like all these shows with men's and women's next to each other, I'm like, I could wear both. Right. Like I could, like I, at Lam Van the other day, I was like, I could wear all those men's looks as well. Fantastic. So I love this sort of gender list thing that's yes. happening. Fluidity. Yeah, exactly. Yes. That's been amazing. And then we're calling something that we love called All Dressed Down. Okay. Which is cozy, cozy. Right. It's like blankets, capes, right. the quilting, all yes. that kind of puffer. I don't know, we saw it everywhere. Even Dries did these amazing quilted mm -hmm. scarves. Beautiful. But that feeling of being like, I'm fully in cashmere and I'm right. like cozy at home, that I love. Do you think it's kind um, of like the sartorial answer to a security blanket? Sort of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like that because we saw it all over time kind of like putting on your shield, yes. like, like your, what, yes. you know, your day, and then all of a sudden you're like, what if you just want to feel like someone's hugging you? Right. <laughs> and your right. clothes can do it for you. <laughs> so that's a kind of a favorite. Um, and then I love it because I called it country chic, but then Tommy Tan was like, what about calling it Lady in the Shire? And I was like, that's really <laughs> I love good. That. Yeah, so all that tweed. <laughs> to like, the manor born. Yes, to exactly. The so I'm like loving that whole feel too. Can you tell us three of the up and coming designers that you're really excited about? Um, we just launched Peter Doe on mm -hmm. the site, and he is just perfect for making elevated day wear, like beautifully Beautiful. tailored. And Commission, three designers mm -hmm. who really have come up with kind of wardrobe staples. Right. And I really love Material, which right. is a designer that we found in Tbilisi. Okay. Just really, again, soft, beautiful trenches coming in. Beautiful. If you could describe your personal style in five words, what would it be? Oh, that's, Number one. Oh my god, this is hard. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> okay. Um, my mood. Okay. Um, playful. Playful. Classic. Classic. <laughs> I love that. And um, timeless. Right. Mm, a little eclectic. Eclectic. We like that. <laughs> we like that. We like all those elements. It's what like about good. yours? What are your about five my words? style? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think vibrant. I love color. I love print. I think something to do with my heritage. Okay. I yeah. think that's really, really important. I think it has to be fun. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think nothing that's too right. serious. Exactly. We're in fashion. Fashion I should know. be fun. So Elizabeth, complete the sentence for me. <laughs> A woman looks best when she's confident. <laughs> 
Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I always say you have to look, you have to feel it. If you don't feel it, it's true. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> What do you wear to make you feel confident? I think it's everyone's different. If you feel comfortable in your clothes, right? So you can't just be like, okay, I really want to wear this trend because I love the trend. Maybe it doesn't right. work for you. How do you wear it? Like, right. I think what really works with us and Nature Porte is that, like, on the site we style everything. Right. So you learn how to wear a trend. Right. Or you know you kind of say, oh look, I really like this. How is she wearing it? And we show right. you different ways of wearing something because you have to be comfortable. It's true. Is there a go-to item that you would, that you would wear to say, okay, I don't have time to think. I need to wear this one item that I know I'm going to make an impact. It's going to look great. It's going to look sharp. And it's absolutely, that. I think a, a, a well-tailored jacket. A blazer, right? Just you, you can wear wrong. jeans. You can yes. have on loafers, but if you throw on that jacket, you look smart. It holds yeah. everything together. Yeah. yeah, exactly. What is your top tip for online shopping? What my favorite thing is so every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday we have a what's new. Mm -hmm. So you just go scroll through everything that's hit the site, mm -hmm. the Nature Portrait site, and it's really easy to shop that way. My other tip is. You always think of something. What I love about shopping online is you can just like I can say today I was like I had this outfit in mind. Right. And I was like I really need a rusty brown leather coat. Right. And you can actually type in exactly that. Rusty and, brown leather coat. And then just see whatever pops up. Fantastic. What is the best piece of fashion advice you've ever been given? Hmm. I guess one of my old bosses mm -hmm. used to tell me that your coat is like your car because you live in it. And it's wow. funny because people now say to me like, "You really love your coats." I'm like, "You're right. Like, I really love my coats." <laughs> And what advice have you given as an editor? Oh my gosh, what's the best piece of advice I've given as an editor? I think the best piece of advice I've given to young students is to really believe in themselves and to use social media as the fastest and easiest right. platform for their own journalistic voice. Right. So right. I think it starts immediately. Right. No, and I think no, because you can because now you have an audience. Exactly, yeah. immediately. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes the audience is way bigger than ours. Um, it's amazing how social media has kind of opened up everyone's journalistic voice and point of view. And I think you can use social media to really hone your I agree. your vision. I agree. I think it's even like when you used to think about trends, like yes. traditionally trends, everyone it was like, "This is the color of the season." This exactly. is, it was like dictated. Now I think because of social media, like there's this whole individualistic style. Yes. So like everyone's doing it in their own way or styling mm -hmm. their own way, and you're kind of and it's made fashion more fun. Yeah. And I think it's because these because like you're saying for y the young generation, like they have an audience. Immediately. Kind of be like this is how I want to. This is how I want to wear it. This yes. is like how I want to style it. We find brands through Instagram. That's incredible. I mean, the traditional way of going to the showroom still happens, talking to editors, talking to different people in the industry, but so much is on Instagram. And so many of the brands we've brought on. Wow! Can you name maybe two brands? Um, well, Peter Doe yes. is one for sure. Ratio and Motus, this right. handbag brand. Yes. And we have, I mean, literally every season we find brands. Amazing. What is the best place to go shopping in Paris? Vintage shopping is mm -hmm. the best in Paris. And have you ever been to this place called Thank God I'm a VIP? No, tell me it's in the about tent. it. It's okay. a little bit of a weird area. It's kind of where all the furriers are. It's, it's, okay. It's huge. Right. And it has like. Amazing Saint Laurent. I mean, it really has a vast array of really, really, really good vintage. Oh my God, Elizabeth! Look at the Eiffel Tower. Shall we go out and have a quick walk? Yes, sounds perfect. Perfect. Let's go. So I'm going to ask you like five questions. Okay, sounds yeah, good. Yeah, really, really like <laughs> random questions. That... Ask away. Okay. <laughs> If you had to wear one color for the rest of your life, what color would that be? Oh God! <laughs> It's probably black. I just black. Say it. Oh my God! So obvious, Elizabeth. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> If you had to pick a man's name for yourself, what name would it be? Mm, Nicholas. Nicholas is very, very prestigious. <laughs> yeah. If you could find a period in history or up to now that you could live again. What period would it be? The 80s. The 80s, right? <laughs> Not going to go way back. The 80s. <laughs> If you had to pick one food to eat for the rest of your life, what food would that be? Rice. <laughs> <laughs> Can't tell she's Asian. Can't tell. <laughs> If you had the choice of anywhere in the world to live in, where would it be? Oh, that's super hard. <laughs> I don't think I can answer that. 
I love to travel. I, I can't know, live but... in one place. Okay, so the world will be yeah, where you live the in. World. <laughs> okay, now it's my turn to ask you five oh questions. Oh my god! Okay. To think of what they are. Well, actually, I do want to know this one. What right. is your favorite, like, or the only? If you had one food left, you could eat in the world. What would it be? It would be something fish and something soupy <laughs> and something noodly. Okay, that sounds good. That's, what is the first thing you do when you get home from being in Paris for Fashion Week for two and a half weeks straight? The first thing I want to do is just eat Singapore food. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it sounds really pathetic, <laughs> like but it's crazy. true. It's just eat some hot Singaporean food. If you were stuck on an island for the rest of your life, right? What? What one item besides water, like okay, you get okay, water, okay, okay, you get coconuts. Okay. What else would you want with you? It has to be a thing. Yeah, an object, like a, an, an object. object. Oh my god, an island! What thing would I <laughs> bring along with me? Sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> You're so practical. And what's your favorite? What's your favorite um, holiday destination? My favorite holiday destination of all time so far has been Bhutan which was really, really beautiful and spiritual and happy. And the happiness index in that country was oh, 100%. Yes, yes, exactly. It was 100%. It is the most beautiful, beautiful country. Amazing it is people. in so many ways. So Elizabeth, it has been wonderful spending time with you with Café La Mode. Thank you so much for being part of this episode. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's been so much fun. Mwah. Mwah. So special. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs>